Passage Theatre, we are the only professional theatre in Trenton. And our mission is to do new work that reflects the Trenton community and the issues in the Trenton community. We're in our 32nd season. The, this is the Mill Hill Playhouse in Trenton, New Jersey. And it's right off of this very lovely square. And it's an old, old church. There are really good bones of the architecture around here. So I think it's the perfect setting for this play. Passage Theater in Trenton opened its season with the play Paradise by Laura Maria Sensabella. It's a co-production with Luna Stage in West Orange. It is about a Muslim American high school student and her biology teacher. She wants to be a scientist and what does that mean for her to be a scientist in today's age as a woman, as a Muslim? Please be happy for me. What they're working on together is a, an experiment that looks into people's first love and how that is created in the brain. If we think there is a reward, we'll jump off a cliff to get it. We overestimate. Well, now adults do that too? Some adults, but teenagers do it more, overestimate rewards. Like, like what we'll get out of love. So there's only two characters, and one is Yasmin. She's 17 years old, she's Yemeni American, and she lives in the Bronx. And then I have the scientist, Dr. Guy Royston, and he was a, a Columbia University professor. He is teaching in this very poorly rated high school in the Bronx, and we're at the top of the play, not sure why. You are way too smart to be teaching first year biology, and you let us know it all the time. I like plays where I learn about something that I don't know much about in my own personal life. So I've learned a fair amount about neuroscience and um, also about Muslim faith and also about uh, Yemeni Americans. And uh, yeah, I, I've learned a whole lot. Well, this particular play took about two years of research for the science. It took many interviews with young women from diverse cultures who were facing arranged marriages. No, everything is not okay. Samir is coming this weekend. What? I, I, thought, I thought you said he wasn't coming till, till, till after graduation. I thought so too, but then last night my uncle, my uncle and Abdullah were at the mosque together. I don't know if Abdullah said anything, but. Yasmin is a precocious, 17-year-old teenager of Yemeni descent. Speaks Arabic at home, but completely assimilated and fluent in English. She has a very brilliant mind and um, a lot of aspirations for her future. What if, you, what if you could set up an experiment where you show how teenagers act when they think there is a reward, a big reward, and when they don't think there is a reward? Would we take as many risks? I sort of have a personal identification with <clears throat> Dr. Royston in that, um, you know, I don't know anybody who's gone through life who hasn't made, cho made choices. They've gone left instead of right, you know, and you look back and you go, wow, I wish I had gone right instead of left. And, you know, we're, we all have to learn what we have to learn, but he's in a particularly bad place now. I sacrificed many things to be with her, gave up many things to be with her. Like what? My wife and my children. And it's a relationship play. I think a lot of people are going to try to make this into, oh, well, it's, you know, it's very current, and one of the characters is Muslim American, and, you know, and he's Southern, and, you know, but it's really a relationship play at the end of the day, and it's so beautifully written. And that's why it doesn't hit all those other topics over the head. It's just all done within the relationship between these two people. But if science is your passion, if it's your calling, how can you run from it? Don't you see you'll be miserable? And I was thinking about love and how everybody overestimates that reward. Not everybody. Some people are quite happy. Some people live happier, richer, fuller lives because of it. Nobody knows if they're going to get that love. No, nobody knows. So it's a really bad thing to bet on. I love working with Grant Shad. He is an incredible human being and a generous actor. Grant was on the Murphy Brown show, which I don't really talk to him about, but I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> and he's, he's been on Broadway, he's a seasoned actor. I feel like it's just a master class being on stage with him. You dance! That's the juju! You dance? 
Yes! I picked this title because any kind of intellectual discovery um, with someone where you are thrilled by their mind and they're thrilled by your mind, that kind of intellectual give and take to me is paradise. The experiment needs to change the grounds underneath. 